Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The Suwon District Prosecutor's Office will launch a supplementary investigation on allegations regarding the Seungnang FC sponsorship funds related to the Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung. The Seungnam branch of the Suwon District Prosecutor's Office has been appointed to lead further investigations which were deemed necessary before making a final judgment. Then, Seungnam City Mayor Lee Jae-myung has been accused of giving favorable treatment to six companies and receiving 16 billion won as advertising expenses. Toxins have been found in crops harvested near the Nakdonggang and Kumgang rivers, which are rivers known for high intensity of algae blooms after the Four Rivers project under the Lee Myung-bak administration. Microcystine, or a toxin of cyanobacteria, were detected in rice, radish, and cabbage cultivated near the two rivers, according to the Korean Federation for Environmental Movements. The WHO has listed this substance as carcinogenic, causing harm to the liver and lungs. A fourth dose of COVID-19 vaccines may be given to individuals with weakened immune systems. The Central Disease Control Headquarters is currently in deliberation whether a fourth dose is necessary to increase immunity for those living in nursing hospitals. The recommended period between the third and fourth shots would be four months. The government will announce its final decision on the matter next Monday. Finally, the U.S. Department of Commerce has announced a trade deficit record at an all-time high of $859.1 billion. This is an increase of 27% from the previous year, and experts attribute this to Americans continuing to spend heavily on imported goods during the pandemic. Imports and exports also surged by 20.5% and 18.5% respectively. And you can listen to these headlines on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, a discussion on COVID-19 vaccines for children under the age of 5, followed by a discussion of the Anti-Stalking Act here in Korea.